Hey guys, I wanted to talk today about SEO for your web applications. Now, I've got something very interesting to show you guys. Now, my new website, seogrove.ai, which is live, but definitely not complete just yet. Um, basically, I made a SaaS, I made a tool, and I was thinking to myself, you know, I don't really want to just get clients from the YouTube channel. How else can we get clients? So what I actually did, and this is an extremely interesting way to do SEO. So firstly, obviously, we have the form. This is connected to Superbase, all good there. And then you can just see this looks really, really nice. But I mean, this, is, this alone is not going to help me make sales. However, this will help me make sales. So we actually are getting 89 impressions and look at some of these freaking keywords. Now, just remember, this is website has only been live for about seven days, I would say about a week now. Yeah, probably exactly a week, maybe eight or nine days. So to already be getting 89 impressions is really, really good. But where are these impressions and keywords coming from? Look at this best SEO apps for Shopify. If we could get this keyword, we could be making, you know, 10, 15 sales a month, right? Now, obviously, we're not on the, the first page, etc. This is a brand new website. But how did I actually do this? So the first thing I did was I created the entire back end, right? I created a really, really useful system of AI agents, which grow Shopify. Then I took this into Claude Code and I had a conversation with Claude Code, basically saying, I want to make uh, an SEO friendly front end to help me sell this tool, um, read my entire code base and think of pages we could create to get us some traffic, right? And then the only other thing I did was I gave it some keywords. Where did I get those keywords from? Keyword tool.io. This is a phrase match keyword tool. So for example, what I searched for, and you kind of need to just think like what search term or what few words will have um, all of the keywords that you're looking for on, right? Now, this is a skill that I've just picked up over the years. I'm really, really good at this, to be honest with you. So what I did was I just typed in Shopify SEO because any keyword that has Shopify and SEO in the, like, in the actual keyword is a huge keyword for us, right? And I'll show you how that looks. So you can see best Shopify SEO apps. That's the exact one that I'm ranking for. This probably has about 900 searches a month. Shopify SEO, 27,000 searches a month. Man, I would love to get that keyword. Shopify SEO tools, Shopify SEO checklist, you know, all that good stuff, right? So I literally just pressed this button here and then put it here and then copy and then just put that underneath this prompt right here, right? And just said like, here's, here's some keywords, right? And then just gave it this massive list of keywords. And then it just started creating pages, literally. It, I just started vibe coding pages. What do those pay, pages look like? So if we go here and go to AI SEO automation, you can see Shopify SEO AI powered optimization, optimization that actually works. And you can see these are beautiful landing pages, all made by AI. Each one of these probably took one to two minutes, right? So we've got bulk product description because like I said, the, the thing that made these pages, Claude Code, had actually read my entire tool. So it knew exactly what it did, right? So you can see, bang, bang, bang. Again, it looks absolutely incredible. This isn't the final look of the website, by the way. We're gonna be, well, we've pretty much changed it already. But you can just see just how amazing these are but also amazing for seo like they have really really good seo bait into them if you're curious how i did the seo by the way i just said like make a title that contains this keyword um but is also like uh you know click friendly and then this is my admin dashboard remember we haven't really announced this on the channel much like one or two of these are from the channel uh, i don't know how many of them are from the channel obviously but I've set up this little admin dashboard. This is another really, really cool feature when you build things in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and something like FastAPI or whatever your choice of backend is, PHP. You can build all of these little things for yourself. Like you, you don't have to like install a WordPress plugin 
to have yourself a little admin dashboard. I won't scroll down because there's people people's names that might not want their name being shown, but you can see that I can actually get my leads inside my admin dashboard. I can generate keys for people here, so I can just add a new key so that it, I can give access to people. And yeah, we actually have leads coming in, which is really, really cool. So when someone fills in this form on the front page here, now that I've shown this on the channel, I'm expecting a lot of people to fill in the form saying, you know, fuck you and stuff like that. It happens all the time. Homepage, SEO, technical SEO. I just ran through like all of the different categories I could think of, drop shipping SEO, and then you can just see these keywords coming up, right? SEO for drop shipping, SEO for drop shipping, right? So let's open this up and you'll see it's this exact page that is actually ranking, right? Shopify SEO, there we go, bang. You can see it's literally that page. So that was my entire process. This was my entire thought process to ranking my tool on Google, you know, and not just getting clients from the channel, but we're also gonna be running ads. We're gonna be doing some other things as well. So this is a super, super exciting time for us. You can see best SEO shopping apps 2025. Again, this is a keyword that we've already got. This is a beautiful, beautiful article. I honestly think this could rank number one on Google. And it's so easy to make. I literally just vibe coded all of these one by one. I just said, okay, now add another one. Now add another one. Keep thinking of good ideas. Let's have a, let, and then I said, let's make a case study, right? Just of an interesting drop shipping case study. I asked it to do all the research itself. Uh, using Claude code again, I literally just said, you know, find me a case study of uh, someone who made a lot of money from drop shipping uh, from uh, organic and then make a page about it. So look, you can see your Shopify store is losing 60% of sales without mobile mastery. Again, bang, just really, really nice, interesting content. People would say blogs, but they're not blogs. They're landing pages more than blogs. And you can just see how this would actually work, right? So if we go to slash sitemap.xml, you'll see there aren't even that many pages, right? One, oh wait, this might need updating. It looks like some of the new ones weren't added, which is kind of weird because I thought they would be, but maybe I'm wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now there's more than eight pages. There's eight on just here alone. So. Yeah, you can see on the site map there aren't that many pages. And if we just do site SEO grove.ai, you can see that, yeah, there aren't that many index pages. So we've got pretty much a 100% index rate, I would say. That might not reflect here in the pages because it'll say that more of them are in, uh, not indexed than, than are actually not indexed. But that's actually quite common with Google. Like, for example, these are, these are with a redirect. So I'm not even sure why they're here. They're also indexed. So the pages thing on Google Search Console is a little bit weird sometimes, but you can see pretty much everything is indexed, right? So we can open free Shopify SEO tools. This is quite common. I'm not sure why it does this, but it, oh, okay, this one actually isn't indexed, right? Fair. Okay, I'm gonna leave the video there, guys. This is a little bit of a secret that I've just given away, but I mean, to be fair, it, it was already on my channel on the live stream. Then if you want to know how I did all of my research, I use Bright Data, which allows you to use MCPs to scrape search, uh, Google search, uh, and then also all of the results from Google search. It allows you to scrape markdown. It allows you to scrape links, all of that good stuff. Definitely check it out. There'll be a link in the description of the video, which gives you a $15 trial. Thank you for Bright Data for being a great sponsor of the channel. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're a legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.